Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be changing the brake master cylinder on the Hyundai Accent. So here's the brief story of what has happened. After I changed the rotors and pads, went for a spin and I noticed they were overheating. It was literally to the point where if you sprayed a bit of water on it, it would just go instantly evaporate. So they were stupid hot. So I thought maybe it's the rotors and pads that I bought off of eBay because they were only like 65 bucks and I thought maybe they weren't the right ones or they weren't up to spec so I went to parts source picked up the OEM rotors and pads put them on exact same thing no difference and it was happening on the both front wheels so it wasn't like one side only but despite that I did the regular troubleshooting so I went and I rebuilt one of the calipers to see if maybe that's what what has happened Nope, no difference whatsoever, still both overheating. And the weird thing is the brakes were not locked. It's not like it was holding on. The car would freely roll, absolutely. As soon as you let go of the handbrake and everything, the car would just start rolling. So there was no lock friction, but there had to have been some sort of friction on some level. So what it is, is the brakes were not fully releasing. So they were still kind of hovering and touching on the rotors, enough friction to cause it to overheat. I did test the theory by driving around without using the brakes at all, just downshifting and handbrake and absolutely did not overheat the brakes. So it was just a matter of like the first time you apply the brakes, I guess it would not retract fully. So it made me think that maybe the fluid is not retracting normally. So then I changed the hoses, the little hoses that are right at the ends there, right from the actual wheel going into the body. Changed both of those, still no difference. So what it comes down to, is the master brake cylinder. So my theory at this point is that either the lines are clogged or the seal is clogged and that for some reason it's just not accepting the fluid back. I got a new master brake cylinder from Rock Auto for like 60, 70 bucks. So we're gonna be swapping that today. So this is what it looks like. I removed the intake so that there's space. I have already cracked these bolts. Had a bit of a struggle with this one as, as you can see as it's, it's mangled, but don't care. So step one, disconnect the cable. There's a safety pin that you just slide up and then you can slide this off. There you go. Okay, you can put that aside somewhere out of the way. Now we just need to loosen these. I have already cracked everything. So the boost cylinder has a piston that comes out, a rod that pushes the actual master cylinder. So what you have to do is, I'm gonna take these off first, just so this is free, and I'm gonna do the ones in the back. And then when I'm taking it off, I just gotta be extra careful that that rod does not come off flying, because then I'm gonna have a nightmare of putting that back. This is 22 mil on this because the new master cylinder doesn't come with it. We have to transfer those over, but everything else, it came with new rubbers as well, which is fantastic. Excellent. Okay. So now, I'm just going to put this back on. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's just grind, see? That was a while, huh? But it does not work. I mean, I might bleed the brakes at some time in the future, but this works fine. Like, as soon as I touch it, yeah. Okay, brakes are fine. Let's check this. Cool, cool. There you have it guys, that's how you know. If everything else fails, it's the brake master cylinder. We're good to go. 